So, if you have your contacts saved on your Android device, how do you get those contacts to your iOS device? Or how do you get your contacts from your iOS device to your Android device? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to sync your contacts between Android and iOS devices. In my previous video, I've shared how to save contacts on your Android device. If you didn't see, I will leave the link of that video in the description of this one so you can go and check it. This is going to be like a follow-up video. So if you have your contacts saved on your Android device, how do you get those contacts to your iOS device? Or how do you get your contacts from your iOS device to your Android device? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Without further ado, let me show you how to do that. The first thing to do is to configure your iPhone. So what we're going to do here is to add our Gmail account in this iOS device. To do that, go to settings, scroll down until you find mail, then click there, and then click on accounts. As you can see here, I have iCloud and I have my Gmail account. In your case, if you just have iCloud and you don't have Gmail account, click on add account, then click on Google. Now here, Google is asking me if you want to sign in. Now what we want to do is click on continue and then Google will take us to this page so we can set up our Gmail account. I'm not going to do that because I already have my Gmail account in this phone. Here, you just have to put your Gmail account here and then follow the steps to add your Gmail account in this on your iOS device. After you've done that, the second thing you have to do here on your iOS device is go to settings. Now I'm already here on in settings. If you don't, once again, if you want to go to settings, just click here on settings and then scroll down to find contacts. I have my contacts here, right here below mail. Click there and then right here at the bottom, you have default account. In your case, you might have it set to iCloud. What you want to do is set it to Gmail account. As you can see, mine is already in Gmail account. And then let's go back. Once we have done that, the next thing to do is download an app called Contacts Sync. I already have downloaded the app which is right here, as you can see, contact syncs. If you don't have downloaded, just go to the app store and then search for contacts sync. Now this is the app I'm using and this is the one I recommend you to download. Once you have downloaded the application, the next thing to do is of course, open the application. Now go find the application and open it. Right here at the bottom, you have four tabs. You have sync, backup, clean, and settings. Now right here on settings, you can see that you have Google and then the option to sign in. Let's sign in to your account. Click there, click on continue, sign in to your account. Now, in this case, this application synced to my account and found three contacts that are already in my Gmail account and they are not available in this device. Before I click next, let me show you the other option that this application has that can help you manage your contacts right here at the bottom you have the second tab backup so here you have the option to backup all the contacts available on your ios device the third tab is clean contacts now here you have the options to clean your contacts to find duplicate contacts to find contacts without names uh, you, if you find like names without numbers this is where you clean all your contacts and right here at the end the last tab you have the option to configure this application to proper respond to your needs. The things I like and I changed here in this application is on sync settings. So click there. As you can see, I have most of the things here on. If you want to switch off something, you just have to toggle it, click here to switch off and then click again to switch on. In my case, the things are most important here are sync direction and sync interval. So what I want to do here on sync directions is to click there and I want my contact to sync sync 
between Gmail, iPhone and iPhone Gmail. So I'm going to tick on Gmail and iPhone and vice versa. And then the sync interval. Mine is in two minutes. You can click here and you will see you have a lot of options. You have the option to sync between 2, 5, 15, 30, 60 and 120 minutes. Mine is set to two minutes. Now this is how I've set this application to work in my device. Now let's go back to sync. Now here on sync window, if you want to sync your contact between these two accounts, what you have to do is click here on sync contacts. Before I do that, let me show you that I have no contacts on my device. Now, if I come back here to my contact sync and click there, and then click on sync contacts, it will start downloading the contacts on my Gmail account. And then you can see here that I have zero contacts on my iPhone. And then I have here on my Gmail account, three contacts. What you have to do now is click next. Then you have these three options. You have clean. If you click on clean, it will take you to the tabs clean where you have the option to find duplicate contacts. You have the option to find contacts without name and do the proper correction. In this case, I know that I have no problem with those contacts. So what I'm going to do is click on continue. And then what I'm going to do is click on the sync direction that I want, which is Gmail and iPhone. You only have to do this once. The next time you don't have to do that, but it will always take you to this page where you have the option to change. But the default option will always be there. Gmail to iPhone and then click next. These are the groups that I have available on my Gmail account. I want to sync everything. So I'll always keep that on all groups and then click next. Now here, this is the last step. What I have to do here is do sync. Here you have the option to backup first before you continue or to click on continue to sync. I'm going to click on continue. Now it's done. Now let me go back to my contacts app here on my iPhone and show you that I already have those contacts that was on my Gmail here on my iOS device. As you can see, these are demi contacts that I prepared for this tutorial and they are already available here. If you want to sync your contacts from your iOS device to your Gmail account, what you have to do is, for example, you want to add a contact here on your iOS device. Just click on this plus sign and then let's try some demi contact again and then add a phone number here. Now that I added these contacts here, DDD, on this iOS device, this contact is going to be available on my Android device. Now this contact here, now let me take my iOS, my Android device. Now let me show you that my contacts are synced across these two devices. I'm going to open here my contacts links on my Android device and then click on contacts. And then you will see here that I have here at the bottom D D D. This is the contact that I have saved on my iOS device. We can try here, for example, save um, a contact. Let's say E E E and then write a phone number there then click save. I have saved this contact here on this Android device. Now I'm going to take my iOS device. I'm just opening here to start a recording. And then let me close the contact app because it was opened and then open again to refresh. It might take a few minutes to sync, in this case, two minutes, because we have set that to two minutes. But if you want to do it quickly, you just have to go to the contacts and then click on sync contacts. I'm going to speed up this process just to show you. Oh, right there. There is the contact. Well, guys, this is how you sync contacts between these two devices. Well guys, that's all for today. If you like this video, like it and share it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one.